fighting cancer and for since February of 2020. So while most people was going through the coronavirus and all that stuff, I was also having to be in and out of hospitals every day, uh, you know, to deal with cancer and went through the chemo and radiation and it was, it was horrible. But the whole reason why I built the van was partially for that reason. There's another reason I'll disclose sometime in the future, but I, I can't disclose that right now. Um, anyways, so while I was going through cancer treatment, I had to have a feeding tube because drastic weight loss. I lost like 50 pounds. And even after the cancer was over, I haven't gained any of it back, really. I, I've put on five or six pounds, and then I'd lose it, and I'd put on ten pounds, and I'd lose that. And I just got paged again. Um, but when I was on the feeding tube, my weight kind of like remained stable. So after all the cancer treatment and stuff, and I was trying to gain weight and I couldn't, like I was eating like a horse, but after being on a liquid diet for so long, your stomach kind of shrinks up. So even though, you know, it was just really hard to get the calories in that I needed. I was supposed to be eating, you know, a normal diet for most people is around 2,000 to 2,500 calories. And the doctors want to be eating between 3,000 and 3,500 calories. And I just couldn't do it. So one of the things I started doing, and the reason why I'm telling you this story was I was going to make a breakfast that I only make when I used to go car camping. And really, I haven't been car camping in like 20 years because I switched over to long distance hiking and I'm not really used to sitting at a campsite for hours. Like I'm used to being at a campsite to sleep after a long day of hiking, wake up, collect all your gear back on the trail. So for me to sit at a campsite all day yesterday and so far this morning, I found out is driving me crazy. Like I feel like I should like strap the van on my back and take off through the woods or something. I can't do that. So what I'm getting at though was I was going to make this breakfast and I kind of realized that the way that I made the breakfast was always for a group of people, like four to six, maybe eight people at a time. And although I brought all the stuff to make it, I have to downsize that recipe to one person. And although I could do that, I didn't bring any like Ziploc bags to put the excess sausage and stuff. <laughs> so, uh, I, I'm going to have to do that on a different trip. <laughs> I'm going to have to plan ahead because this is really kind of spur of the moment. I, I basically wanted to get out in the van and test out the system and kind of make sure everything worked and kind of see what I forgot to bring and what I brought too much of and that sort of thing. And obviously I forgot Ziploc bags. Um, but I did get up and use the stove this morning. I have used the sink multiple times. Um, I used the stove last night and didn't record it. I made hot chocolate before I went to bed. You know, I slept on the futon. Actually, I slept on it in couch mode. Um, and it's pretty comfortable for what it is. Um, I tested out the solar system. Um, you know, I, I had planned to make t-bone steaks with rice and vegetables either last night or today but i had the stove set on 32 degrees thinking oh the temperature is probably off that it's probably really going to be 34 and the t-bones will be unthawed and guess what they weren't unthawed so i turned it up to 36 or 38 and uh Maybe I'll fix T-bones when I get home tonight, it looks like. Back to what I'm getting at. I had such a hard time gaining weight after cancer treatment. 
and after the feeding tube was removed, that this little container right here, it is eight ounces, contains 500 calories in this little teeny tiny bottle. This is the most condensed calorie nutritional meal you can do. And 24 bottles of it on Amazon is like 48 bucks. So what I've been doing for the last uh, four or five months is I, I order two boxes, which last me about four weeks, and I supplement my regular food with these. So I have one like in the morning with my breakfast. I'm skipping breakfast today because I got to be heading home. Um, plus it's almost 11 a.m. So I'm going to have one of these, or basically my daily routine is I have breakfast with one of these. I have lunch with one of these. I have dinner with one of these. And then right before bed, I usually have one of these. So that's 2000 calories plus whatever I ate. And that's the only way I've been able to maintain my weight. I've not gained any, but I'm not losing it. So... I'm probably eating between uh, 4,000 and 4,500 calories a day, which is actually more than what I would normally eat post pre-cancer. So pre-cancer, when I wanted to bulk up lifting weights, I would eat about 3,500 to 4,000 calories a day. And now I'm eating between 4,000 and 4,500 calories a day just to maintain. So that's kind of where I'm at. Anyways, you shake these up. They don't actually taste. They're actually made for a feeding tube. So normally you would shake this up, use a syringe to extract the liquid, put it in your feeding tube and kind of squirt it into your feeding tube and it goes straight to your stomach. But they actually don't taste bad. Um, it's unflavored. If I was to tell you what it tastes like, it don't taste like anything really. And I usually, they're kind of thick. I usually try to drink them pretty fast, so I'll gulp it and have it finish in six or seven drinks. And another thing about the cancer, um, not only do you have to deal with the cancer itself, you have to deal with all of the damage and stuff that happens from the chemo and radiation. For instance, I have permanent hearing damage now, and I'm technically supposed to wear hearing aids. I have the hearing aids, I just hate to wear them. So I don't. <laughs> and $8,000 I had to pay out of, ta out of pocket because hearing aids are not covered by medical insurance. So I paid $8,000 for hearing aids and I may be warm for a week or two and was like, eh. And let me tell you why. Um, with the hearing damage came tinnitus. And that's a constant ringing in my ear. It never goes away. Um, it kind of drive me crazy sometimes. But The hearing aids, they have a program to help you deal with the tinnitus, and it works while you're wearing the hearing aids, but when you notice the tinnitus the most is when you go to bed at night and you take the hearing aids out, and then you have to lay there and deal with this noise all the time, and you can't sleep. Like, if, if I sleep three or four hours a night, 
it surprised me because I just tossed and turned because of all the noise. And uh, you can't really wear the hearing aids at night because they just come out. So, my reasoning for not wearing the hearing aids is that eventually my body will adjust to that noise. And over time, it did seem like that it did. And, uh... The second problem... Long-term effects of the cancer... Is that... I basically damaged my thyroid gland, or I didn't, the radiation did. And your your thyroid gland works in conjunction with your pituitary gland. So your pituitary gland says, I need more of this produced, which the thyroid controls. And the thyroid doesn't respond. So then the pituitary gland kind of like, goes into like a alarm level and says, I really need a lot of this. And a thyroid don't respond. So they put you on this thyroid medication. Oh, I finally got a recovery. Yay. Um, so they put you on this thyroid medication. The bad thing about the thyroid medication is you have to take it every morning at pretty much the exact same time. So, then you can't eat or drink anything for an hour. So, 11 o'clock might seem late for breakfast, but <laughs> when I'm at the house, I get up, I take my medicine, I wait an hour, and then it's like 9 o'clock, and I slept in today till like 8.30, and then it was raining, so I laid on the futon for like an hour or two and then I was like oh I should have taken my medicine since I'm just laying here and I finally took it and about 10 a.m. so that's why it's like 11.03 now and I'm just now having my breakfast and uh anyways thanks for watching <laughs>